Today, finally, the big day has come. And we're finally going to uh, enter a train in the direction of Machu Picchu. But we'll not actually go all the way to Machu Picchu. Uh, we'll exit at the station KM104 and we'll start the short Inca Trail from there, which is around a 12-kilometer hike. It's actually raining a little bit, but uh, I hope it's gonna get better. All right, we got out in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the jungle. In the middle of the jungle, yes. Luckily, it stopped raining. And we're gonna start our hike from here. We have just started our short Inca trail. We exited the train and now we have heard some interesting facts about this Chachabamba. This is uh, one of the Inca ruins and it's uh, situated right next to Urubamba River, which is considered as a sacred river of Incas. So unfortunately it started raining again, but actually I'm so hot I don't even notice. And it feels even more like in the rainforest right now. Even though it's not entirely rainforest, but definitely more jungle feeling than anywhere else in Peru so far. So while we're here in the rain, seeking shelter from the rain, over there, there's already blue sky. So there's hope. That 10, maybe 15 minute break that we just had, the weather just changed completely. And also the temperature seems a lot higher right now, but it's still very wet, so Still a very strong jungle feeling. So we approach a nice new point to Viña Huayna, which means forever young. And this archaeological site was really well preserved because Spanish did not reach it. It was only discovered in the 1940s. These stairs are really steep. Here we can see some more Inca terraces that haven't been freed of the vegetation. And when you see this, you can easily understand why the Spanish and people later never found uh, these places in the mountains. Why they never found Machu Picchu and why they never found Vina Vaina.
Now it's raining again. The weather really changes extremely quickly. So these are the houses where the noble families live. And um, around each wall, there is a special canal where the water is transferred. So this is how Incas managed to survive against the rain. half of the Inca Trail. We saw Vinaya Huayna and then we had lunch and now we're continue our way to Inti Puncto, which is Sun Gate and after that we will have a nice view over Machu Picchu. So we finally made it to Intipunku, the sun gate, and we're catching our first glimpse of Machu Picchu over there. I think it is actually bigger than all the other Inca sites together that we've seen so far. There's those terraces here, here, all the way down to there. To the river. I sort of assume that probably below all those trees there is more of those that just haven't been uncovered. <laughs> and also, two days from now, we're gonna climb Huayna Picchu which is a mountain next to Machu Picchu. And from the pictures, I always thought it was that sort of small one right next to Machu Picchu. But no, it's the big one here. It's gonna be exhausting, I think. So now we are in front of Pachamama rock or Mother Earth rock and according to what people discovered here a female body was completely like mummified and buried here with a dog skeleton close to her heart and they think that she was here as an offering to the gods to Pachamama in order to start building Machu Picchu. We're first time close to Machu Picchu for today it's closed, we're gonna go to Aguas Calientes, but we'll come back tomorrow and the day after. And I can't wait to explore it more. 